everyone. Welcome to the Book Over, a little book club where we talk about books, especially the ones that give us book hangovers. I'm Sarah, and with me is Megan. Hey. And with us today is Holly from... Hi. I always forget. I have you as like two different things in my head. Bookstagram lady. Yeah. That's is there... Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Bookstagram lady. Bookstagram. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> that's easy to remember. Bookstagram lady. Yeah. I need to change that. Somebody put it as my my friend just like decided to do it like that and I was she was like it's funny because you're no lady (laughs) 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 oh yeah that's true oh that's funny but I just see it as like you're a reader yeah Yeah, like oh it's that bookstagram lady it's that lady who yeah yeah Uh. (laughs) I love it um okay so today we're um talking about a book that a lot of us love say you swear by megan brandy so good it's um holly actually is the one that recommended us read it and so it was just fitting to have her chat with us on it and i have i was really excited to read it because fumbled hearts was one was my first megan brandy book and it's so that 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 has like a special place in my heart and then always raves about it I do I always talk about it and defenseless is it defenseless heart yes um is one of my favorites too but I've only read it once because I don't want to read it again because I know (laughs) (laughs) I know things and I'm not I don't want to revisit those things (laughs) (laughs) that one was hard Mm -hmm, mm mm-hmm very hard but I loved it but it was it was, it, it was hard and it's fun to go back to see the whole, I've been waiting for this and I know Megan Brandy, but we don't <laughs> yeah. use our Megans, um, <laughs> said that this has been in the works for a while, right? Like she, mm-hmm. but she wanted to wait yeah. until she could do it justice. And I'm just so happy because yeah. we get glimpses of these cousins, this group of friends, and then I'm happy to finally get their story. And now I want more. I want yeah, more. seriously. I, I think that she could take this forever mm-hmm. and I would be completely happy with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She but, did announce that oh my there's going to be, was it Mason? She announced officially, at least we're going to get Mason's story. I believe yeah. she said that's not next for her not next up, but it is on the horizon, but you could definitely tell with this book that it was something that she's been working on like for years and like so close to her heart because it's it's her best writing it is 100 percent her best writing her best characters I mean just her best love story I mean the love story there is just like the falling in love it's so real like it's like visceral I I I just I love you know the two characters falling in love after we get past the chase drop (laughs) Noah is literally like a top tier book man fictional man Oh my gosh, you can't get better than him. You really can't. You can't. And I think she said at the end of the book, like if you read her letter, she's like, mm-hmm. what about Noah? Something about Noah and how like ladies, like not book boyfriend, he's like book husband. And yes. I was like, yes, yes, yes. yes. that's that's who you want. You want a Noah. <laughs> sure. it, it's a good balance though of like, he's like strong and masculine yet you know, that has the sensitive side, like, and he wasn't a complete dick at the beginning, like so many guys are, I mean, it wasn't like, oh, he's the dick athlete, but you still fall in love with him, he still feels alpha enough, which is yeah. hard to do. It is. For sure. Oh my gosh, he was yeah. just everything. Yeah, so let's start with that, with their, like, I, I don't, it, would it be a meet cute, like how, so there's, like, Ariana has this friend group, which involves her brother, her best friend, Cam, and then Brady and Chase. And she's had this childhood crush forever on Chase. And she's like, they have the beach house. And like, I just love how she's like, kind of dealing with like that. I feel like it's kind of teenage drama with him, right? Like yeah. this, like, will they, won't they? Yeah. Like, oh, he looked at me this way. He said this, mm-hmm. reading the into all these little things, the angst of it. Yeah. And that's like at the first reading this book, I had no clue because I was so afraid that like, when we meet Noah, that he was just going to be the in-between guy. And I think yeah. that was part of Noah's hold up too, was that he was like this placeholder to get her to like, have a life experience and then go back to Chase right yeah. so like yeah. I don't know at first I was so like torn because I liked Chase at first because I think I liked that angstiness 
that went with it of like will they won't they he does like kind of like her he seems like he likes her you know but then like as I don't know that I just love Noah when he like hits her or when the the ball hits her and they're chatting and I don't know I could there was just something there and then like the party where he just shows up for a few minutes and helps get Chase jealous even though he still like liked her right he was attracted to her red flag right there on Chase though that it took getting jealous for him to like man up true very true but my chase journey went from like, oh, I like I I would be okay with I think I text Megan this. Like I'm like, I don't know who I like, Noah or Chase. Yeah. Like I like yeah. both of them. Can we like I was like, can we make this a menage and have both? <laughs> and then and by the end of the book, I'm like, I really am not liking Chase. No, <laughs> no. I don't like he needs like if he gets a story, it has to be like one of redemption. It's <laughs> a re- he needs sure. redemption. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like I I did not think this was how her story was going to go like at all I was not expecting Noah in the mix at all and I was pleasantly surprised like Mm -hmm. it was so good Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well I was going to say I think Mason and you think at first that Mason's the reason that they're apart because you know Chase and Mason are best friends that's how like we're all justifying it okay well Chase's actions make sense Mason's super possessive and I saw I've saw some people think that he's too possessive I love how possessive he is of his sister I love that he cares about her so much and I can't wait for his story but I thought that it was like sweet and I thought that like I hate to say it but he was right like he was right about Chase he was right about the friend group like he wasn't wrong I don't think that he was like I felt like he wasn't like steering her off of him because that's his best friend I think that he was like no he's not good for you he's not what you need in your life Mm -hmm. and I love that about him he needs a thick thick one like this okay yes Yes, he He does does. we need thick Mason yes but I have to say of Mason I loved Mm -hmm getting to know him to to come up with what you're saying but Mm -hmm. at first I did feel like he was overbearing with her and she Mm -hmm. felt that too because like I felt like if he would just there's a few times where I was like if you would just come out and say a little bit more of like he was more hinting like he mentioned at the beginning of the book like how like you know your life is this group and you Mm -hmm. need to live beyond the group a little but then again he gets upset that he wants she went on that trip to Florida without him you know, so it's like there was this balance that they needed to figure out and he needed to be a little more clear on like his his thing about Chase. Like that pact he made with them was what back in like junior high or older elementary school, right? Like yeah. with the boys, like you can't date the girls. So like, I feel like there should have been like a time where he's like, to her at least, because he knew, I, he mm-hmm. had to know that there, there was a crush, yeah, just like how with Cam, he's like, you know me, like if I liked her, you, she would know I liked her. We remember, uh, we do find out during the book later, Chase confesses that at some party that Mason had punched him and he lied about it because he was like, getting flirty with her. So there was that he did know, he knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he, he did know. So it's mm-hmm. like, it would be great if Mason would be like to her, like obviously then we wouldn't yeah. have the book, right? Yeah. But if you yeah. like, <laughs> if he did go like, like, hey, like Chase, I just don't, I know Chase, he's my best friend. And I think you need to like, check out some other fish before you like go all for chase yeah you know like but mm-hmm. how do you say that to somebody without pissing them off <laughs> as a teenage boy as great as mason is he's still you know a I teenage know. boy you're so right you're so right i just you know i'm like i i, I do this a lot where I'm like if somebody would just do this and i'm like I then i wouldn't have this amazing book you know i wouldn't have yeah. these emotions that are like ah you know so <laughs> I true. Think that's true I think that's what makes like Mason and Noah so different because Mason he lived a life of privilege pretty much like I doesn't he Mm -hmm. yeah he lived a life of privilege they have a beach house multiple beach houses gifted a beach house (laughs) yeah um, and then you have wait not Mason who am I talking about are we talking about Mason okay the brother Brother. no Chase Chase, Chase too. Okay. I Chase get this mixed yeah. up. There's so many characters in these books. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, so Chase—that's the difference between Chase and Noah. Like 
Chase mm-hmm. has lived a life of privilege. Noah has had to grow up. He has the world on his shoulders. So I feel like that really shows in how her writing. Like you can definitely tell like the maturity levels of each one. Mm-hmm. And Noah's just he's not there to like party, have fun and I don't know. I just the character development for all of the you just see how selfish Chase is. Yeah. Like yeah. he's Oh yeah. He's you're selfish. right. Selfish. He yeah. really, he really is, but I think he just doesn't know any better. No, he, like, doesn't. he just doesn't have the experiences to know that you have to like mm-hmm. no one knows you have to work for it. Yes. It's a privilege to even get mm-hmm. to work for it to get as yeah. far as he's gotten. He's very thankful for it. While Chase is just like I'm Chase. And, yeah. <laughs> and the, but there's the differences in family because all Noah yeah. ever had was his mom. Exactly. Who is, who he's had to take care of and then you're right Chase has had this friend group his whole life and a family and a beach house so I mean yeah I think no one never took took that love and the the you know the possibility of it for granted and I love how he went slow with her like they formed a friendship first he knew she wasn't available yet he wasn't going to act on it so they were able to I think that's what the beauty of this book is is that they build a friendship Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it turns into love and it just it, the way they build it, it she the way Megan builds it is just right you know, it, that, it really just takes you on the journey uh-huh. yeah. I, the progression of it yes yes no because I love how like and this brings up mm-hmm. one of my favorite secondary background characters Trey I love him I love him I know who Megan loves too because you love Brady I do. I love Brady. Brady's, Brady's so funny. awesome. I was thing for him at first. At first, I went into it not knowing what the. I knew there was going to yeah. be a love triangle. I didn't know who it was, and I was kind of hoping it'd be Brady. And from the beginning, I was like, "Oh, I hope she ends up with Brady." From <laughs> 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 the very beginning, I I wish all great things for Brady because he's he awesome. And he's I really was great. just waiting for Brady to like punch somebody and be like, fi- "Like, come on, you know, figure it out. <laughs> yeah, figure it out, <laughs> Chase. Yeah. Like, stop being an ass." let him like you're being this isn't cool but Trey because from the start he's like you know he sees her at the bar with Cam and it's like that's how Noah shows up there you know and then Noah just taking it slow like it's just Mm -hmm. I I I, and then at the awards at the end of it where she's there and then he's like I think you should accept it and she's like huh like I was Oh, that yes. made me cry so what hard. I love that he had a good friend. Oh. That was that was that was like a tear jerking moment for oh, sure. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so good. But I just that's why I love Trey because look at that. Like, look at what yeah. he did, and he's just such mm-hmm. he's just this tiny background character in this book. Yeah. But he had so many key parts, like the Florida trip mention, mm-hmm. and then the getting them to the bar together, and then that. And I mean, that's obviously what he was the meant. Party, yeah the party but like I just I love <laughs> that's, how, that's why I love Megan Brandy's writing so much because she has main characters yes and I love them always but the surrounding side characters she creates like a whole experience mm-hmm. and you fall in love or mm-hmm. you hate the side yeah. character so much <laughs> and it's like I have never read a book by another author well, I think Ali sees. Yes, definitely Ali sees. She does that really well too. But um, where I'm just like com- completely immersed in this story, and I feel like these feelings towards these like fictional characters, and I'm just like, they're not real. Why am I mad? Why, Why am I crying in bed yes. right now, sobbing, wiping snot on my nightshirt? My like- yes. <laughs> but this, she does it so well. Yes. Uh, it is so yes. good yes well, and it just she, go ahead Megan I was just gonna say she wrote I, I I what I liked is she wrote like first heartbreak really well too mm-hmm. like having to like when you're in college and or high school or wherever and you have to see your ex around everywhere and just like how like first love and first heartbreak is just like so hard yeah. I just, I, she just such a wide range of emotions. She, you know, she writes like this great, like falling in love story. And then, you know, before that, this like the depression and entering college. And then, you know, yes. oh God, like once we get to the crazy twist, like I, okay. I will say that when we got to, I did feel something coming. I, I didn't feel it coming at first, but once she got, I thought she was going to get hit by a car. 
like like leading up to it. And then as soon as she woke up in the hospital, I knew instantly that's where we were going. I had I, I had, had a feeling. I had no idea. I'm I was I, I didn't, I didn't know. know before that. I knew the car because when they were fighting, I was like, hey, hey. Ariana, can you get right? on the street? Like, I was like, can you get right. on, uh, back on the curb? Like, why right. isn't me being like, hey, sweetie, like, we can fight, but come back up where it's safe. Like, yeah. the whole time I was like, get on the sidewalk. Right? The whole that. time. I was like, like I, I look yeah. back and I'm like, wait, is she still like on that side of the car? Like, I'm like rereading it. I'm like, yeah, she's out of the street. I was like, no. I was oh thinking that God. too, because like, like, cause if I saw that in real life, I would be telling people, oh, get out of the street. I'm, that's me. I'm like the, like, don't be in the street like when we don't have to be yeah Mm -hmm. it's like protective Mm -hmm. instincts but so like with that like leading up like before we get to that like I just love like you said the progression of the relationship from like the friendship to him being like I'm not going to be with you or I'm not taking this further until you're you are in you know you're all in you're done like Chase isn't even an option to you anymore Mm -hmm. but I also love like them cooking and like, oh, you know, God. all those little things that they did together mm-hmm. and it just, and then that, so that takes us to the twist. Cause it killed me again. Mm-hmm. Like, so while they're like, I, my favorite, one of my favorite scenes is like how they would go to his little, like captain's apartment, right. Mm-hmm. Like in the house. And like that one time they invited her whole friend group up. And so oh like they come in and like he gets the menu out. She's sitting on the counter and they're looking <laughs> over it. And then they're like, everyone's just watching though. I was like, that's just, that just shows yes. how much they, like, I loved it. I was like, so swoony. Oh, yes. that's a scene. <laughs> um, like, I'm, I can't, I'm beaming at you yes. calling that scene. Yeah. Yes. It was so the cute. best. And it's just the simplest yes. thing, right? But it's mm-hmm. like, you peek into this relationship and everybody's like, oh, whoa, they're like together. Yeah. Like, you know yeah and did you know how mason did give her the space for that relationship like he he knew about he knew there was something up with chase not the extent of it Mm -hmm. and he gave her the space that she needed there so he was like learning (laughs) he was learning um oh I think they all did. Even Brady. Brady was so intuitive. Like with them, like he knew something was going on between her and Chase that wasn't good. And he Mm -hmm. like that study session. And then when he showed up and then Noah shows up and rescues her, like Brady knew. And he was just like, hey, just don't leave me behind kind of. And that made me just love. I just picture this big like teddy bear of a guy, you know, like when you Mm -hmm. first look at him, you're like, oh my gosh, you play football. And you're like, but like, he's that like one that gives the best bear hugs, you know? like mm-hmm. yeah. yeah I'm sorry okay no I look no because really we went like we went off reels not really <laughs> what happened <laughs> there's just so many long. things to it's say a long book. it's a long book yes. though there's a lot in like the camping trip was so great too I loved the camping trip oh. I thought that was so pivotal p- 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 pivotal yes <laughs> Yes, so and how she really- left with him, like she was gonna stay, and he came back. Like that was yeah. such a big moment when so she's cute. like, "No, I'll go." Like Cam will yeah. pack up the tent. And I'm like, "Yes, girl, yes, you go." <laughs> and meeting his mom, that like you know, he oh told my her to see- his mom is what a great character. I didn't see that coming when that first happened. I thought there was like some kind of weird dream that was going on. I was like, "What? I'm like, yeah. what, what are they talking about?" And I'm like, "Wait, this is a funeral, and then it's for his mom." And I was like, "What is happening right now?" I did not. That's the one that caught me off guard. I couldn't believe it. I was I- like. I thought Perfect. that was going to be the twist. I thought she was going to oh. die and it was going to send Noah through this spiral. Oh, okay. And that he wouldn't go to her and that was going to be their conflict. Mm-hmm. So I was expecting her to not make it. Okay. Well, I, I, <laughs> I couldn't believe that this couple had like so many hits. Yeah. Like, after, yeah. We're, I think it's where it came in the book, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, because that hit, yeah, because she, it happened, okay, so she loses her memory. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the beach. And I couldn't figure out for the life of me, when she leaves the beach house up at the beginning of the book, and she mentions the truck headlights flash in her eyes down the street, Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, that's important. Like, for some reason, I'm like, that's an important piece. But then, like, at the end, I was ex- I kept on thinking, she's lost her memory. She's back at the beach house. I'm like, this is what's going to happen. 
Noah's going to go off and then come back and she's going to be out front and then his light truck, his truck's headlights are going to flash in her face and it's all going to come back to her. And it never, it didn't happen though, but I was making it all po poetic and I'm like, it's going to, Noah's going to be the one, but then I'm like, yes. is it Noah's truck at the beginning when he came back saying, say he came oh, back and looked for her. Mm -hmm. You were thinking mm -hmm. that it was his no that it was Noah's truck originally. So I'm making it all Noah's now. truck, and Noah Noah really helped bring her back. Well, but it really was his mom. It was his mom, but I will say the lights. They said that that's the point of her memory because the lights hit trauma. her, so that's why her memory went back to that time. The lights, the trauma. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, a very very. I don't think this is a spoiler. If you haven't seen the TV show Felicity, this isn't a spoiler. It's just like a little hint at something. Um, this gave me a little bit of Felicity vibes because at the end of that series, they had five episodes <laughs> that the network um, ordered extra and they didn't know what to do. So they did a whole, what if she, I'm not going to say who she chose, but what if she chose the other guy? And so that reminded that, that I'm like, oh, well, this is a great way to do that in a non-sci-fi manner that maybe Felicity fans would have been happier with. <laughs> Sarah, <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> we, we, we've talked about yeah. our... Yeah, Our, yes. teenager Our TV shows, shows before at length well, about these. <laughs> well, I thought it was a cool, a cool device to to say like, hey, what if they chose the other person? What if this didn't happen without having a paranormal way? We'll do it with like a memory loss thing. Mm -hmm. So she got to explore what it was like to have Chase, but it just never felt right. I, I really liked why we she loses the memory her memory mm -hmm. it was it was so we would know that she was always meant to be with noah right yeah. and her head was being so she was being stubborn not letting those she was so scared to find out everything yeah and mm -hmm. i can see that yeah. about trauma you just lost a baby mm -hmm. i know she messed up. i wish i wish she had more questions like i mm -hmm. about like who the baby because like the second she finds out and she goes looks at chase she's not no one goes oh, we God. had a baby that <sighs> my heart so like, poor fast. Noah. he went through so much this poor noah i, I like i want to give him a hug like i felt so because he had all like the hugs. Oh, all the hugs for noah was, because no, that was, was just so traumatic for me i was like oh. you know and chase is like no 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 but then like then he yeah. goes, moves in on her but i love how each time like she's like my gut turned doesn't feel yeah. I I'm not feeling that spark but I know I have a crush on him I know I like him and now he likes me so this should be working but I was just like that's when I wish the friends were a little more I wish she was a little more open with their friends about things mm -hmm. and that they were a little more I know Mason tried a lot Mason yeah Mason, Mason was tried. and I love how he picked Noah I love how that they they, they they took Noah in they really did and especially Mason he like went you know Noah got drunk I don't blame him that's a hard situation no. and he gets drunk at that hotel room and, and he's like man you got to get back in there you got to you got to do it you got to fight for her yeah. but then like they're they're all trying to be respectful of her wishes because she wants to remember on her own mm -hmm. but like it's it was hard it was, it was heartbreaking really hard. and it was just I felt so bad for everybody all the friends oh yeah and mm -hmm. Mason, but Noah the most. And then her, she's got to be super confused and frustrated. Oh, all those panic attacks that she had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was awful. And I can't, I just, I'm like, kudos in a way to Noah, because I don't think I would have been strong enough to keep my mouth shut. No. But no. then I would be afraid to Could say be. something and have them be like, you're lying. And then be like really pushed away too because yeah. she yeah. had so many of those little moments with them too like on the boat didn't they go on like the little boat at one point she needed to get away from everybody and he was oh, over and they yeah. went on the boat and they had this really nice time and they were just mm -hmm. like quiet she's like just felt like home mm -hmm. I felt like I needed to just this was where I needed to be and I was just like girl yeah. Mm -hmm. girl think about it <laughs> this is he where you need to be <laughs> he, 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 and he knew her he'd bring her coffee I mean she knew enough to invite him back to the beach house I feel like but they and they did say like the doctor said like she was suppressing things mm -hmm. it's like she she's like she knew and she didn't know mm -hmm. I, I I get the brain's a, a very strange thing right you know but when it started clicking but there was even the part like the pizza peppers were like Oh, when they were yeah. dating, they were like getting the peppers out. And then with the memory loss, there was time where like she like got out the pizza peppers or something. And like he was all excited. It was just like, because she was, yeah. yeah, they were kind of, and then there was a saying too. There was something that was repeated on her end that he told her 
Mm -hmm. when they first like at the fountain that night like so yeah yeah. and then his friend the the girl that was his friend like she Mm. knew who she was that so there were all these little moments of like of hope and that was at the funeral I'm still not over that the poor guy lost his baby, lost his girl. Oh lost my his god. Mom. <laughs> he went through it. And, he, and still- you know, he went through it. I just I'm thankful for Mason because Mason's like, no, you're stuck with mm-hmm. us. You're important yeah. to her. And then even him trying to like remind Ari, like, hey, there's another guy out there. There's a guy out there that also lost his baby and is now mm-hmm. lost you like think about that and like and that killed me because I'm like I feel yeah. like we didn't really get her thinking about it. like we didn't get inner mm-hmm. thoughts of her thinking about it and I was like I need you to be like okay it's not Chase who yeah. could it be you know like and then want to ask like who but I uh, that was the most frustrating part for me I was just like just ask I knew though <laughs> that she was going to be she was going to be like kind of closed off because remember at the beginning after Mm -hmm. she had you know I don't how do you say it without getting in trouble with um Chase oh she had sex with Chase Mm -hmm. okay and afterwards he was just like yeah no we're (laughs) done and then she kind of closed herself off from literally everyone Mm -hmm. and I, I knew it in my soul that she was going to be frustrating whenever the like climax, you know, happened mm-hmm. because right. mm-hmm. I just wanted her to just talk to someone, just talk. Yeah. Because that's, I, yeah, that, that's, that's a good point though. That's really good that you caught that early on that she internalized and yeah. didn't. Oh, so you knew that, yeah. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. very, yeah you're right. Looking back at it, yeah. I'm like, yeah, you're so right. She is. Yeah. And poor Cam, Mm -hmm. because she's like, even the first time around was like, girl, you're killing me here. I mean, nobody knew what to do for her. Yeah. I think Cam did did like, like when Cam restored the text messages and stuff, she had had enough. And I was like, yes, yes, yes. 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 I love that. I loved all that. And she she couldn't. And the calendar. Oh my God. The calendar. So I thought that was, at first I was like, why are you going back to college? And then I was like, (gasps) Yes, when she went in her room and looking at things and she saw that her calendar mm-hmm. and like looked at the past dates oh and my then God. looked at the circle date and like started putting mm-hmm. it together. I was like, well, yeah, I was so and then finding the what she what she made for him. Oh, right. Yeah. And then the letter from the, the notes and the letter from the mom. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> that, was, that was that was wow. Yeah it was yeah oh. I, I love the path I do love that you know how it was resolved that and Me too. especially with the loss of the mom having that note mm-hmm. you know at the end I, that really that was, was so amazing tough. well she, the mom knew I feel yeah. like she knew she had that one last good day with Noah where he mm-hmm. was like oh she's doing better because a lot of people do have that one last yes. good day yeah. and I mm-hmm. think she just she knew it was coming and I think she hoped that she was going to be able to help her son and her out find each other again and it did it worked and I just and then when he when she finally comes back and he's like baby you come back to me like you know it's just like oh Oh, so good (laughs) I'll take it to a really a, a funny but but true thing that I told I texted Sarah early on before um she read it which was I didn't think it was a spoiler it was um when they first all like got up the beach house together I was like oh this is a terrible idea never <laughs> go in on a beach house with people because it does attach you for life and you might not want to yeah. be attached yeah. for life I mean it gave Chase more of an opportunity if you asked me to be around her all the time and he was he was a little I get I get he needed to explore things and, I, and I've forgiven Chase a little bit but he was a little predatory about I it like he's got a brain injury dude I like, feel like on. everybody in that friend group deserves to punch him I'm, like, <laughs> I'm not big on violence like that but I'm like okay Noah got his punch in right I remember yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. I think he gets to have another one and then Ariana should get one. 
She I mean, get, I know she she, she came right. to like a resolution with them and like they're like gonna try to be friends, like, but Cam, Mason, I would have loved, I really wanted Brady. I really wanted Brady yeah. to just like knock him out and be like, dude, what the fuck? Like I just yeah, I really needed that. So somebody in that group to just be like really mad at him, like and be like, dude, like I get what you're doing, but this is m- not the way it was supposed to be. And I get how Chase was like, oh well, this is fate, fate saying that this I get the second eight. chance and I'm like no no you're an no. asshole <laughs> <laughs> sorry sorry for anybody who loves Chase but if he shows up in the next book I need him to be redeemed because right now I'm still really mad at him I think I that if he get if he gets it that it'll have to be redemption yeah, because even if it's like Mason's book, you know, and they're best friends, like just maybe have him be working on himself or something. I don't know. Yeah. Because he like, just really um, made me mad. <laughs> mm-hmm. And if he was my friend, he probably would have gotten bitch slapped at some point. Oh, yeah, like, for sure. Yeah. Maybe it's not because I don't summer. want to get in trouble and I'm an adult, but like, <laughs> you definitely get yelled at. <laughs> I just, I'm just thinking about all the awkward summers they're going to for the rest yes. of the year. No, because he's going to have to deal with it. He's going to have to deal with it. He's, you know, he, yeah, yeah but how, but I, I guess it's going to be awkward for a while for He's going to be staring at them as they're frolicking in the sand on the beach. And he's just with their be like, children because you know they're going to have kids. Yes, yeah, so they're going to have a buttload of kids and he's going to be alone. Mm-hmm. Oh, that reminds me. Can I say something that I really loved about this book that um, Megan Brandy wasn't scared to and wrote a character? Because um, sometimes I think people are a little anti this who was like okay with admitting that she wanted to be a mom like that that's what she wanted to do like it didn't okay. matter what her major was so that's what she, I, I feel like these days you know it's kind of almost frowned upon like it's been overcorrected, and especially in books you don't see that much so I, I really appreciated a character that was like I just want to like have a family and be a mom and I, I really liked that about her I do and I love that she had that supporting you know, partner, Noah, who was like, who had that upbringing to be like a mom's, that's most important job, you know, like, exactly. Yeah. 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 I felt that because literally that's all I have ever wanted to do. And I felt wrong. Like I, like everyone is telling me that I'm like media, everything is basically telling me that I'm wrong to feel that way. Mm -hmm. And I really love that. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love that. Mm-hmm. well yeah and you struggle too because like mm-hmm. Megan knows like I'm I'm cutting back on my career so I could be more full-time mom mm-hmm. and it's like it's a struggle because you're like well like my in-laws are going to be like well what are you going to do you know and oh that puts yeah. more on my husband to support the family but I'm like but I'm supporting the family by being here you yeah. know so it's but it is you get so much of like oh she's so strong because she's a business owner she's so strong because she went to college and she has this degree and now she's this or you know very independent very you know high whatever and it's like yeah but like I've always said like if I was to hire somebody I'm hiring that mom because she can multitask yeah. <laughs> she can yeah. work on low sleep <laughs> she can mm-hmm. use the nice voice and she can use the stern voice like <laughs> you know I was like I'm hiring the mom like the moms know mm-hmm. where it's at <laughs> like <laughs> yes yeah and of course no disrespect to working moms no um it's just that like it just it does feel like today that it is kind of pushed that way especially in, in romance books too a lot um as somebody who like that's what I'm a preschool teacher because I want to work with kids because I don't have it yet that's like my dream and I'm like oh, finally somebody who's not gonna like put down like you know what where do you see yourself in five years well hopefully you know what I mean right. so I think we're all at various stages of being able to relate to that so it was really nice because I, I think it's true like women are kind of scared to maybe stop working or to say they want that and um so it's, it's nice it was really nice to have that yeah, I felt like there was a very much, you know, you do what you got to do and you do what f- works for you kind yeah. of vibe going on, which I like. Yeah. yeah. Well, I love that we all related to that. I didn't think that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for bringing it up. <laughs> yeah, I hope to show you that, it, that it's relatable than more than people think. So, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, I thought that was cool. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what a book. 
What it's, a book. Gosh, I did not expect That's her best writing. I don't cry very often when I read books, but oh, I had okay. like, I felt like there was times where I was like giddy. Yeah. And then there was times where I was like sobbing and then like nervous and like frustrated it just like all of it and it's such a good book when you can feel all of them and keep on wanting to read and like and then you finish the book and it took me forever to even like want to like write notes for this episode on it because I was like I'm not I'm pro I'm like still processing it like it's yes good it's yeah mm -hmm. it was okay. unexpected like I com was completely blown away and simply because like like I said before I had I didn't think that was how Ari's story was going to go at all no because it had been set up for her and Chase yeah yeah and then you get this white knight beautiful man and you're just like he he came in changed the game and I am so glad that he did because Chase is an asshole <laughs> <laughs> right right well and you get a glimpse of noah in dirty curve for like what a sentence yeah not not long i read dirty curve right after say you swear because i hadn't read that yet and i was like i can't i'm like what do i do now i'm like oh dirty curve is what i do now so it was like a workout scene and i think it happened but it happened like the locker room right or something and he yeah. just mentioned like he seems like a one one woman kind of man and yeah like a good dude a good dude or something and I was like mm -hmm. okay yeah because I looked that up before I started it because I already read it and I was like oh, I'm gonna look this up try to get <laughs> all of my fumbled futures stuff refreshed and yeah I was like well at least it's like a good thing you know about that's it. a great title for like an epilogue book for all the characters please come play futures. with my heart like I am needing Nate Monroe so bad like I need his story to be tied up in a bow I need their story the rest of it because I'm not done no no we'll need a I okay this is what I feel like after we get like Mason's story I don't know if we'll get the other I don't think we need like the whole gangs like Cam and Chase and Brady's mm -hmm. but maybe like we get Mason's maybe Peyton's later on right if it's not part of Mason's, um, yeah. but then, <laughs> um, but I feel like this is a good one that we could get a second generation <gasps> series from them. Oh like where we have Nate and Lolly as parents, finally, you know, I know she's, you know, like, and then we like get like, Caro and, you know, yeah. like all that, like, I can you see know, like this I'm whole, like the kids in their story. And they're like, at the beach and they're all at the beach. Yeah. Yes. That'd be cute. Oh That'd be yeah. cute. There you go, oh. Megan. We got that set for you. It could, be like a little <laughs> summer. it could be like a little summer, like romance where they're all like, you know, they all see each other because their parents live in different places, but they see each other for the summer or something. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, well and they grew up together too, right? It. Yeah. Like they probably did football camps or yeah. they grew together. Or maybe one of them. I love it when like it's a football family, but like one of the guys like is like, actually, I really want to play baseball or yeah. oh you yeah. love it yeah I love that kind of I like that too <laughs> yeah. <I'm going> off again <laughs> all right is that everything I'm sure I'm sure when we're done I'm gonna be like there was more I wanted to say about this but I read this a month ago not quite a month ago there's so much you can ago. say about this but I am just talk about still... this for hours Mm -hmm. And that's why you should come to the book over Facebook group where we can all chat about it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about it some more. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Or in the YouTube comments, mm -hmm. you know, what depends on where you're listening, but we would love, we would love to discuss it more with everyone who is listening in. Yes. 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 I loved it. Okay. Thank you everyone for chatting with us, Holly, Megan. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. And listening to us and watching us. And we will see you guys next time on the Pickleboard. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.